U.S. Senator Dan Sullivan here in beautiful Kodiak, Alaska, was hosting Senator John Bozeman, the ranking Republican on the Senate Agriculture Committee, to make sure that our farm bill takes care of and helps promote American fishermen. I think the seafood industry gets left behind a lot, a little bit of a forgotten industry, but we're producing food just like farmers are. We felt for a long time that we're the farmers of the sea, that we would have some of those same uh, support uh, for our problems. It's really, really important that the seafood industry is included in all of those conversations and any programs that are available. We have had almost eight years where Russia could import all the seafood it wanted to, but American fishermen can't export one fish to Russia. That's been going on for eight years. The foreign markets that we've had access to for decades have just all but dried up. And so when we lose big global markets like that to low prices, it's depressing prices everywhere. It's been uh, really, really tough to be able to compete on a global scale and even compete in America with some of the unfair trade practices that are occurring right now. When the war happened and the sanctions hit, we finally put an executive order out that said, hey, we're not gonna let Russia import seafood into America if we can't do it into their market. But there's a giant loophole. The Russian fishermen are now saying, let's launder our seafood through the Communist Party economy of China and then ship it to America. That's happening right now. I have legislation to make sure that doesn't happen, protecting American seafood. Unfortunately, some of my Democratic colleagues are blocking that. And the administration, the Biden administration, won't also close this loophole. Russian, China, seafood loophole needs to be closed now. That'll help America, it'll help our fishermen, and it'll help shut down the money going to fund the Russian war machine.